everybody, it's Jack from Atlantis Water Gardens. Welcome to part two here of this 19 by 30 pond in Media, Pennsylvania. If you didn't see how we got to this point so far, click the link right here and go watch part one. Just what we've excavated from the wetland filter and this section of pond is all back in here. We're talking probably over 50 yards of soil have come out of here. And look at the rock pile. We have got stuff every place. And honestly, we have to spread this out so we can see each and every rock because it's so important to pick the right one, especially when you're talking about a space like this. It's got to fit just right. We got a lot of great field stone rock here. This is all out of North Jersey. Look at some of the stuff. You know I like the stuff that's got the flat tops or flat bottoms, even some of the skinny stuff that we can stand up or can be used as a flat surface. I love the versatility of rocks like this because I can go either way with it. Then we've got the blocky stuff. Now we need that for stability. We want to make sure when we do our layering, everything is super stable and strong. We don't want any issues with the rock. And with this kind of stuff, no worries. We're at the point now where we're going to finish up this waterfall. We got maybe five or so rocks left to set. Then we go ahead and excavate the rest of this thing down to four foot, pull all that fabric and liner back and start setting some boulders. Let's finish up strong here on day three. We really digging on this pond. The fact that it's four feet deep, it looks so cool. There is a lot involved when you go deep like that though. First of all, it's just the pure structure of the pond. So there's gonna be four foot of water in here, but you've got to figure you're coming out into grade also. So some areas from the bottom up to the top of the rocks is gonna be six feet. So you're talking about some massive boulders to make sure this thing is good and stable. We also have this retaining wall behind us. So we have to make sure that whatever's in front of it is structural. These are multi-ton boulders not going anywhere. So there's no chance of there being a base problem with that wall. When you're deep, you also wanna worry about circulation too. And that's what these guys are for. This is called lock line. This is gonna be feeding jets. We'll put ends on these. This will get like a fan end on it. We'll probably shorten it up a little bit. We wanna get circulation in the bottom. We've got one there, we've got one there. There's gonna be several jets in this pond. We wanna move that water from the bottom up into the water column and send it into where our intake base skimmer is gonna be. And then when you get into the smaller rock work, you gotta make sure it is super tight and locked in. So we're layering things back, one boulder behind the other. There's no chance this thing's going anywhere. While all that's happening, we're working in things like lighting. So our lights are in there the way we always do them with our chases. Our wires go through chases to hubs. If there's ever a problem with the light, we can just pull the light right out of this cup, tie a string to the other end of it, and pull a new light back in. We set these large boulders coming out from our constructed wetland area. If you guys watched part one, there is actually a block retaining wall behind all of this. And you can see how we've disguised it with all these big boulders. We intentionally left these gaps in between so we could do some slate work. Ant took that from the bottom, which is almost three feet deep, all the way up to the top where the waterfall is gonna be coming into the pond. How sweet does that look? He's going actually on top of that block wall with some flagging work. I wanted to keep this super thin so that we don't get too much water backing up in here because we kept all this rock work real low to complete the look of it. Then we're gonna have a waterfall back here. That's our main drop coming out from the top. Everything here is on top of our wetland filter, which is not something you see every day, but being the fact that this yard is so compact, we had to figure out a way to include all this stuff so it still filters right, but it looks awesome with the waterfall facing right at that picture window. Well, by the looks of things, Bowley is impatiently waiting for me to get back to work. You put the camera down and keep rocking. <laughs>
We are at the end of our fourth day here. And I'm thinking by the end of the day tomorrow, we'll be done with our major rock work inside the pond. Look at how awesome this rock work is looking. I love the feeling of big boulders inside a pond. That just looks so amazing. Look at that job Anthony did with that waterfall. Drew's up here touching things up, getting that top wetland waterfall all finished. Foley's been down here just absolutely crushing it with the rock work. That rock was just set there. What we're gonna do, since that's a tall guy, he's about a four footer, we wanna get a rock out in front of it, just as a ballast. So basically it's gonna be a kicker in front of it, holding that rock back. That rock is leaning up against the wall, like it's not going anywhere, but we wanna make sure it's not gonna go anywhere. So we're gonna take a big rock, put it out in front here, probably about halfway along the rock there. And as we're going, we're just making sure we're, we're setting our lighting so that it all makes sense. So. When you're standing on this side, this is the viewing area. Here we've got a sidewalk. We want all of our lighting directed this way in the pond. The last thing I want to look at is a light fixture. And when you're looking at it when it's running during the daytime, you really shouldn't see the fixture sticking out. And I think we've accomplished that by tucking everything into the rock work with those cups. But we've got enough coverage so that we really shouldn't have any dark spots in here. We've got a couple lights down at that bottom section. Now lighting inside water does not go nearly as far is lighting just out off the house. So we have to use more lights here than you normally would in a landscape because we're trying to pass through water. But we're gonna make sure we hit all these areas here where the pond is changing directions, heading back this way, something here probably. There's a light here, there's a light here, and then we've got the ones on the bottom. Now we'll probably set a larger rock over there that we can hide a light behind and kind of highlight that area on the backside, which is something we've done right there. You can't even see it, but it's gonna highlight those boulders where Anthony and Bowley are standing. Once we get to the end, that's where our intake base skimmer is gonna go. We're gonna have a pump vault in there. We're gonna do something a little different there with a the skimmer. I'll show you guys that later on, but it's gonna be super cool. Just an extension of the pond. If you watch this channel, you know how much I love intake base skimmers. They just look like they're part of the pond and they work fantastic, especially if there's fish in the pond, they can swim in and out of there. I am super proud of my team. These guys all bust their butts from sun up till sundown, making this stuff happen. To accomplish this in four days, up to this point, you're talking 240 man hours to make this happen. Imagine if you're doing this by yourself, how many weekends would that take you? 240 man hours, that's if you know what you're doing. Right? Incredible. These guys, I can never replace them. They're all amazing. I can't wait until we finish the rock work in this pond tomorrow. See you then. We got a little bit of rock work left here on the backside. We're gonna join up with our intake base skimmer. We have to do a seam here to make that happen. The steps going down into the pond just look amazing. Look at the stone work Anthony's been doing to tie all this stuff in. That's the top step there. Coming down along here, working our way down into the pond. More of that stone work on this side. We've got a light tucked in over there. One of our jets is gonna come right across these stairs, pushing water out towards our intake. And we've got another jet set up over in here with a light below that. Brandon and the boys did a great job tying in the rest of the rock work in the pond here on both sides. And our waterfalls are just gonna be incredible. You guys have to come back to the next video. We are going to finish this pond. I promise you it'll be worth it. We're gonna get the rock work done, get it filled up, and plug it in. Come on back, hit that subscribe button. We're here every week doing this thing. Tell your friends. See you on the next one.